Hi guys, for the first video today we have on my paper here, no communication. So it's still request week, just to let you know. Um, got off the treadmill here and I'm just relaxing to get into your no com reading. So let's do no talking. This is no communication with your counterpart. The first card stating the hanged man. I also saw this in the pre-shuffle. It's Pisces energy of somebody taking a pause to reflect on this counterpart relationship. It's, it's needed. You know, sometimes you need a break to step away from it, clear your mind. That's a very good advice card. We do have on your split, the chariot. You could be dealing with cancer. The other one, as you saw me, is the tower with Aries and Scorpio. And then we also have the page of wands. Could be learning about some news or you had some heavy revelations between now and maybe last night. I would say like if some of you are truly right now on your path making corrections, and also going into a direction also where it serves your highest purpose. No communication is a very serious type of reading that I do on the channel. So we're going to definitely get into it. Again, you have the chariot. Somebody could need to travel, okay, to talk to you. Let's just check what's next. We have a hermit. Ooh, that's interesting. Hermit with Virgo. Libra comes in with the six of swords and the high priestess. On some level, you... Um, I feel like you can feel this person. I feel like you're no communication. You could feel what they're going through, especially if both of you once upon a time were very, very close. They could be a little Cancerian, maybe Virgo in their chart, or it's the other way around. Um, I also have three helper cards today for no communication. So it's, it's interesting, okay? You have a lot of pentacles, again, from me as a reader on this channel. You have a Tauren card here. And you also have the Three of Pentacles, which is more Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. When you discuss this in no communication, it could be that both people want to um, see a truce come to mind or both people need to talk and work it out because overall the Three of Pentacles is collaboration and it's also working together. I think they want to, like that's the message I got from the Three of Pentacles conducting it today. And the Six could mean that both of you need to be reciprocal and give it a try. Maybe both of you need to talk and it be a heart to heart because the six of pentacles is, is I'm reciprocal and you're also bringing it toward me. So we'll look at that. Um, it's interesting that it's pentacles again for feelings, but we also have changes coming with a hot air balloon into your life. You could be seeing a lot of five, five, five happening. And if the journey is difficult, the one thing that's always the constant is that you're in tune with your spiritual prowess. Also, the fact that you could be very thankful and showing gratitude uh, in a situation that has been somewhat quiet because no communication. Obviously, you don't know what this person is thinking, feeling, or seeing in their life. You might have a construct of what it could be, but until you hear from the person's mouth. Um, I do believe that they want you to know that they're going through a period of change. This can also be their card. So they could be going through something rather heavy and you are getting a little bit of signals coming from that person. Maybe a lot of you are still very, very in tune with this person. Let's break it in for no communication, please. I'm going to keep the chariot here. It's a very interesting thing to see. And if you don't mind, also the Virgo card of uh, being alone and isolated. I think if you are the hermit Libras, like if you resonate with Virgo energy, it could be really important today to um, understand that this path is a major arcana and it's serving you in a place where uh, you get advice from different sources. You know, you probably watch a lot of readers each day and being a hermit is not all that bad, right? There's a lot of things where I could be too isolated or sometimes I'm too alone. This card could be looked at today as there's probably a reason why you're being held back. Um, maybe like, it's almost like a blessing in disguise, that hermit card. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, the recent past between these two, the devil with Capricorn is showing up. King of Pentacles. Okay, this person could be earning more now, um, more stable than when you last left them. King of Pentacles talks about they focused on their money and their monetaries and they've risen up as well there. I think there's some form of obsession between the two of you. The devil card can show that both people are spying on one another or there's some level of watching one another. I would be careful with that only because it does not serve your highest good. You know, a lot of people won't even say that to you in a tarot reading is that the devil card being here can signify that both of you are doing that too much to one another. 
maybe they're unaware too that you have information on them in that card. We have the Page of Pentacles in the recent past. There could have been a gathering between you two. I sense, and it's only because this card came up, it's interesting that it's a page. In the recent past, some of you could have met with this person, had a coffee here, spoke to them again. Um, I do believe that there was some type of offer of friendship. Maybe it didn't work out because I'm guessing here, you know, in no contact for this to show up is a little bit more obsessiveness that went on after that initial friendship with the Page of Pentacles. And then with the Ace of Wands in the last spot, one of you started a chapter of new growth. It was very important for your personal health. And I think that that's what's bringing in this change is this card here, but it was good for you. So we have a very positive card here about um, emotional restoration. Then you walking into change with that unicorn uh, and the hot air balloon. A lot of you expanded during that time because hot air balloons and readings indicate that there was an expansion of soul, that there was something that was brought in here. And maybe some of you received information during that time that helped you as well. Could have been a reader or it could have been just watching something amazing that helped you through a difficult time with that hot air balloon. Okay, cool. So four cards for the recent past. We go to the current now and no communication, the six of cups. Ah, upright. I felt this card too. Six of cups, upright. Ace of cups, upright. And the five of cups. Five of Cups is about perhaps both of you reminiscing a lot from the five to the six. It's going in order, if you notice. So you have the five here. And let me just do this gently. You also have the six. So it means that both of you can be missing one another. Um, it could be deeper than Twin Flames. This looks like it's a soulmate type of deal. The Six of Cups is with fairies, if you see right here uh, on my left-hand side. There is like a longing, a craving energy, okay? with both of you having sentimental feelings. Uh, if you were married to this person previously, I do think that they still care about you. If there are children involved, of course, there's plenty of emotions that are still involved. So, and some of you, it was just a long-standing relationship. In the current, it looks like they're missing you quite a bit or they miss memories with the Six of Cups. Clarify the Six of Cups in the current. Ooh, these are kind of sad for me to do, but it was next on the list. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're slow to get an idea to you. Maybe some of them do need to talk to you about a particular issue. Um, they view you as family in the Ten of Pentacles and they see that you're working on your future. You are doing a very good job here, Libras, of uh, picking up past wounds and transmuting the energy. You could even be transmuting it into finances right now for you and your kin and for your better wealth. That's also talking about an inheritance. Maybe some of you have a family inheritance too that's lined up for you. It's on paper type of thing is what I'm getting. So some of you could be earning that um, even despite something that you've gone through that's rough. I believe that that could be an incoming reward for you. And we have the sun. The sun talks about a happier time beginning. It's also the happiest card in the deck in any reading that you see. And it also talks about someone's general health. If we talk about health as a person, I think you moved on. That's what the cards are saying. And you dealt with it in due time. So they could just be missing maybe memories of you today, technical memories of both of you, maybe holidays, anniversaries. Um, they're looking at you in a soft way too, which is interesting. It doesn't have any anger toward it or anguish. It's looking like they have a soft spot for you with the Six of Cups clarified with the sun. Six of Cups a little bit more. Eight of Swords, this person's really restricted or they feel like they can't come and talk to you. The Eight of Swords is about imprisonment and feeling like they are restricted. They could purposefully be hermiting. Some of you might know of their hermiting is what that's explaining because they have two cards to show isolation. That's at least what I'm getting. Also the fact that they could be slow due to a deterrent. It could be a friend, a family member, or somebody that keeps them at bay from speaking to you in the Taurus. They could even have, I don't know if they like know a Virgo, but Virgo's popping out a lot. Maybe a Leo and a Virgo have influence here. Le maybe younger Leo too, to get very specific. What are these people saying if they, what's their advice if there's outsiders for them to stay single, 
for some of you. There could be a younger Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio that was attached to you. There could be influence here from friends. I, see, I actually see that a lot in the reading. Also, the advice is to stay single until they find something. What else was their advice if outside family members got involved? Thank you, Spirit. King of Wands, con continue dating. Okay, that's the King of Wands. Continue to stay single. Heal with the Six of Swords. Heal their heart. Uh, Six of Pentacles, give back with what is reciprocal in their life people who show them reciprocity. I believe you showed them this though in the Six of Pentacles. Um, I don't know if this advice is exactly correct, but we'll see as we continue. Seven of Pentacles to work on their finances. So it looks like outside people advise this person to stay single. Uh, that's as, about as much as I have. And also to work on their finances and invest in other areas. Now, if that if that part checks out for you, in the reading because I have to be very careful with this part. I think both of you went into your own six of pentacles. You have the card in the beginning. This person has their own version of it. So you guys went off on different roads and you found that you could be reciprocal to your own general people or your situations. Um, there might have been a separation here that needed to happen for a particular reason, but I want to find out their current feelings today. The Magician. Gemini Virgo I'm gonna get three cards for how they feel about you um, they've been manifesting some sort of talk or this could be physically seeing you the magician if I were in no communication I'd only be manifesting that person because I do miss them which the six of cups is in the reading so they've been coming out as the magician for you the last four to five days on this channel as you know maybe wanting to balance something or bring something to your attention where it's heartfelt in the Six of Pentacles. What else do they feel in the current? The Two of Pentacles sideways, the Ten of Wands upright, and I'm gonna get one more. I had the Star, the Queen of Swords, that's true <laughs> in this read. Temperance is at the bottom with the lavender dress. I see here that they're going to regret um, maybe not having told you how they really felt in the past. This person was a juggler, so we perhaps could have had cheating and no communication, or they couldn't make up their mind. That's what the cards are saying, at least. And Ten of Wands could be them, too. Ten of Wands is struggle, fears, burden in this card. They feel like you've completely transformed yourself in the Queen of Swords, which is a Libra energy. Knight of Cups, judgment is what I have. See, I feel like they do want to get something straight with you with these two cards. I do feel a heart to heart. They're just afraid to come to a very uh, discerning, very big queen of swords, which is appearing in today's reading. Also afraid of how you're going to react, possibly because the queen of swords is very brash in her reaction. Um, the star card is about a healed person. I feel like both of you have reached that place reviewing the cards today because there's a whole lot of old love in the past and both of you went on separate journeys of other people giving to you of healing six of pentacles for one person six of pentacles for the other and there could have been a lot of grounding and changes that went on there uh, a lot of different path stuff with which both of you needed to see they're manifesting like some kind of a meeting with the magician let me just get a little bit more on what i have what i've received these are tough you guys i try to do them with a lot of energy too but no communication can sometimes uh bear sadness three of swords they do their heart is broken whenever they think of you three of swords flipped right now it's a libra card manifesting you also in the background i think on some level you know about this this is a energy that i'm just reviewing with you they have a lot of good memories and I think that they're valuing, they're very proud of your physical change with this expansion card, which you received at the very beginning. Very proud of what you've become. And I think this person is secretly rooting for you too, um, if there's no bad blood here in the past. I think I'm going to do a part two on no communication. So I'm, I'm not sure how, what you guys feel about that, but I would love to deliver another one. We have the lovers in some case. The death card and the high priestess, that's correct. High priestess could be you, Libras. 
And I also think with a lot of sensitivity, this person's reminiscing on this particular card. I do wanna thank you for your time. No communication has always been rough for me. If you guys even watch old no communication videos, I get super sensitive in them. And so I just wanted to say, take your messages. If this one wasn't your video to start off this morning, that's okay. We're going to get you on the next one. Um, we're going to find you somewhere in the next few readings. I want to thank you for your time this morning. Thank you, Libras.